at one point. Notice viewership has climbed a little bit since uh, LVO, which is nice. We stream a lot. We will we continue to stream a lot. Um, shame, I'm going to shamelessly... Uh, oh God, I can't figure out why it doesn't transition to this scene. I'm wondering if I need to not... Hold on, let me, let me take a look at one more thing here before I talk about my shameless plugs here. Full camera to our announcement giveaways. Flag Stinger, 350 milliseconds. Let's try, I don't know, 150. So let's, if I go back to the full camera, nice. And then I go to the announcements and giveaways. It, it, this is the first time it doesn't work. It sucks because it looks like the stream's breaking. Thanks a lot, OBS. So we, these are our sub goals that we're keeping till you know, till we hit each one. So 150, that's 15 right now to get uh, a couple of acrylic dial covers. They're really nice though. So from Cago 2. At 170, we got another scenario die to give away. And then at 180, another full set five, set of five of metal objective tokens. But I do, I'm gonna quickly grab a couple of things um, from my little storage area to show you guys. Okay, so don't go too far. Okay, I'll be right back. Dude, that was fast. That was fast. All right, so. Before the end of March, if you sign up for our Patreon, this is what you would get your first quarterly reward. Okay, so it starts off with these beautiful, beautiful metal objective tokens. Okay, so you get you each each patron gets one. You continue staying with us each quarter. You're going to get another one and if it's going to build up to a set of five. Go full screen for you guys to show you all. These are from these are fl flat metal objective tokens. We got the crate side and you've got the satellite side. And then you also get some awesome new 312 stickers like this. You also get sticker like this. And you get our round C logo sticker, other stickers, all that's good stuff. That's what you get. And lastly, we're not done. You also get, trying to find the pile of them. Do, 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 do. Here we go. You get a cool tokens, a, a, a awesome set of tokens. So these are double-sided uh, objective marker tokens with our logo. Uh, blue and red, although I have to flip one of these over for you to see. Hold on. Stand by. Here we go. The other side has 312 on it. Boom. You get glittery, a glittery force and charge token. So you get all of that. Our first quarter reward. Um, I will say the uh, we have just a few left, but the uh, Chicago dog tier, which is the five dollar tier, uh, gets a acrylic painted. Uh, objective token very flat but not the metal ones um mainly just because of costs <laughs> so uh yeah so exclamation point patreon we'll go back to our patreon side because the next quarter we did tease uh on our patreon the full spread of well all my, there's our few bonuses i'm not going to tease that are included in the next quarter but paul larue partnered with us and created these exclusive just for 312 uh backstabber and mauler the boys cards they're gorgeous i i have them ordered i just got a notification today that the production is done and they are being shipped to me so in the next couple weeks i'll get those uh by the beginning of may that will be in the mail for you um and so yeah uh our patreon has gone really well so far i'm super i'm, I, I'm honestly shocked at how many people have jumped on to support us but it has been um a huge huge lift uh for us because patreon actually sends a decent amount like of almost you know it's like 90 percent 92 percent of the money that you 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 contribute actually goes to the stream it actually makes its way to me versus 50 percent half on twitch but with that said twitch uh twitch subs still help so if you're in the position where you have to pick one or the other patreon is is, is more helpful uh best case if you're able to do it both are the most helpful 
but uh, happy to answer any questions about that. Um, we'll always want to be transparent with you all. I know so there's there's people joking. I know it's not serious about us trying to just profit and make money. It's impossible to make it to profit off of this. Maybe I can buy myself a sandwich. That would be probably the most scandalous thing I could do with that money is buy a sandwich. So, um, yeah. And you and y'all y'all get rewarded with some awesome stuff from amazing partners from across the community who want to get you all awesome stuff in exchange for you helping us. So it is not for not. All right, cool. I, I wanted to, to show you all that. Um, for those of you that maybe are curious what you would get, you now know what you would get. So there are the lists. I'll break them down in a moment. I will open up betting for you all as we are placing our ships at this point. Battle over Endor featured stuff in this game. Put this, put this in here for now. Uh, Rebels versus Empire. We're playing Salvage Mission yet again. So, Tim, we've got another Dash Rendar sighting. It was nice to see him play Dash against Daniel a few weeks ago, and he's bringing him back. He's got Trick Shot, Concussion Missiles, Saw Guerrera, Dead Man Switch, and the Outrider title. This is, of course, the new Dash, the errated new release YT2400. And we've got Geber Sohan, the gun that's almost impossible to kill with its a trap, precision tuned cannons, chaff particles, and target assist algo. Wedge Antilles, Battle Over Endor. It's a trap. Predator, Advanced Proton Torpedoes and R2A3, that one-time use droid you get to acquire a lock after your form in action. If you get blocked, you can still do that. You can still Red Focus acquire a lock for a APT, the double mods. And then Yendor. Don't know what Yendor does. I'll look at that ability in a second. It's a trap, Plaza Torpedoes, and Stabilizing Astromech. Over here, Oler bringing the new Battle Over Endor soon tier with Apex Predator, No Escape, Blank Signature, Feedback Emitter, and his ability after he performs an attack, he may spend one of his two non-recurring charges to perform a boost or barrel roll. Not an action, just a boost or a barrel roll. Sigma-6. I don't remember what the Sigmas do, but Sigma-6, we'll go over that in a moment, with Daredevil and Afterburners, has the fourth hole. Commandant Gorin. This is the errated Commandant Gorin, by the way. So the ability is different. So start of the engagement phase, choose a friendly ship around zero to three with a lower initiative than yours. Chosen ship gains one evade token and removes one non-stress <coughs> red token. So the APT on wedge going to need to shoot at an I-4 or above. So you can't, it's going to be harder to, to do that on Lurir or Sapphire 2. He has shield upgrade and sensitive controls. And then Lieutenant Lurier has sensitive controls, crack shot, and targeted computer. I like that combo a lot on Lurier. Sapphire 2 has no escape, reckless, uh, targeting matrix, and primed thrusters. That is another battle over Endor feature. All right, let's take a look at some of these abilities that I don't know yet. Um, Yendor. While you perform a primary attack, you may gain a strain token to reroll one of your blank results. Okay. And he is a lower initiative, isn't he? Uh, oh, he's at five. Never mind. Ugh, I don't know if you want to get a strain, how often you want to do that. But you can. You can. Um, Sigma six. After you fully execute speed three to five, you may spend a charge to perform a slam action with two not recurring charges. It's pretty fun. Uh, and then uh, Sapphire two. While you defend, if you are focused, roll one additional defense die. That's pretty good. Could be a uh, potentially hard to kill. Uh, is I think four points. Yes. Target matrix while attacking may spend one eyeball result at the end of the neutralize result step. If you do the after the attack is resolved, the defender gains a strain token. Reckless, like perform a red boost or red barrel roll action. If you use the one hard template instead. If you do roll an attack die, enter hit or crit result, gain a stress. So a little scary, just because sensitive, you could end up double stressed um, if you do decide to do it then. So yeah, that is those are the lists. Playing salvage, betting is open. Tiles are about set. I think we're about ready to rock and roll here for game two.
I'm missing baseball. So nice that baseball back. All right, here we go. We're, we're moving and grooving, so I will start our timer. Right. Sapphire two down there on their own right now. Gem Gemmer does have that two dice gun at the front, so keeping the turret to the back right now. One straight from Wedge. Again, can't take crates this first round next turn though it's all fair game four straight here from yendor that's probably going to be a shot there at range three will be five dice five defense dice though for sapphire two unless you fire a plasma. What are we doing here? Taking a lock? Yep. So able to focus. Oh, this is wedge. Yandor's. Okay, I got the two flipped. Do I have that opposite on? Yeah, yep. The, uh, the overlay is what's getting me. They have them flipped. So it's actually, it's actually Yandor is going towards the top of the board right now. Wedge is the one that just did the it's interesting to see him use that ability immediately, but he has. He's, or rather, the Astromech charge, the double mod, range three. Here it comes soon, Tier. I think he, uh, if you guys are wondering why we just saw the turret rotate, I think Tim had always meant it should be side to side and just didn't do it. And Andrew's like, yeah, you can have it side to side. Just, it makes sense because of concussion missiles. Why would you have it front to back? All right, so range three. Um, Wedge can uh, spend the lock. It's pretty good. Spend the focus. It's going to be hit in two crits. And Sapphire 2 will spend and not take any damage. Man, now Wedge can only fire single mod at prot advanced proton torpedo. It's back into Wedge here. Three dice. For nothing. Kitty. Wild stream kitty has appeared. What's up? Noah, how's it going? Thanks for the 15 month. Reese up. What is up? She says thank you. Thank you. 
Okay. All right. The C in three one two is for cat. Yes. That is correct. All right, now we can start taking crates and scoring those objective points. Round two coming up here as we're entering our planning phase. Wonder how many people are going to get into arguments at Worlds about the end phase triggers. You have to acknowledge every phase of the game, even if you don't have any triggers in it, your opponent might. So you can't steamroll your opponent picking up your own dial, starting to set them and then telling them it's too late to do something unless they decide to do the same thing and then try to go back. But yeah, we got a dash sighting in this game. I know Noah's excited. This is you dash because that's his way of showing love. Let's take a look at here the positioning so yendor is on crate duty for sure i don't i think you might have to slow roll with wedge sapphire or sigma six rather do i have that oh my god what is with the overlay swapping the colors so that was sigma six oh, this is annoying all right we all have no idea what's going on corin yeah these are all wrong Gorin teal not dead. Teal. Larir is green. Usually I do this stuff before the stream, but I'm clearly not observant today and in, in, in catching this until it matters. Uh, blue. Or sapphire two, if it lets me change the color. And then red, soon is red. So that's good at least, that's accurate. All right, we're good. Get that top-down view. It matters more if your opponent has an end phase trigger that affects your decision to make an end phase trigger. Because, like, if you're both too late, then it affects you both. It's the game we play, man. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not the, uh, the, the rules arbiter. It's just, I just know it's a thing that people will complain about. People are always a little more on tilt at Worlds as well, just because it's Worlds. So again, we're going to take a crate. Lucky recipient of a crate. And here comes Commandant. No, rather, Lurier. Commandant is teal, Nick. Know your colors. Lurier takes a crate. Ooh, taking a focus. Oh, nice. Going just fast enough. Block that one straight. What are we, I wonder what we're debating on here.
Got a slam. Oh, okay. Very fast. I get right behind Yendor. Battle over Yendor. And going to uh, link it to uh, using, I guess, yeah, uh, afterburners, right? Yeah, because it's still a maneuver, so nice. So in a really good position to to three straight or four straight bump focus, be right there behind Yendor. Wedge one straight and just kind of wishes he could shoot someone, but he can't. And he's just going to boost and take the deplete with locked foils. Yeah, I hope you don't miss the whole game either. But if you do, you can always watch it back. Yendor. Ooh, battle over Yendor. Taking the crate. Take it. The sealed door. Cast the crate into the fire. No. Okay, Dash. I don't think Dash is going to have a shot unless he barrel rolls. He does have Sagarera, though, which is super awesome. Does he take a crate, though? I don't know. Should you? Probably not. I think he barrel roll. I really like the barrel roll, to be honest. Do it, do it. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. All right, all right. I mean, he could always just, you could always just scoot and have tri trick shots. It's not the worst thing. All right, so the I-6 is on opposite sides of the board, not shooting. So it goes to Yendor, battle over Yendor. Oh, Commandant, Commandant, Gorin. You, uh, you don't even need to remove a red token to be able to do this, which is interesting. This gives a free evade there to Lieutenant Lurir. Ooh, soon to, soon closer than I thought. Soon to just barely does not have a shot. I thought it was way out, but. Nothing there for Wedgie Poo. All right, range three obstructed. Into Lurir. This is a three on five unmodded shot into an evading Lurir. Can you get lucky? Two, not bad, but probably not going to be enough to get a damage through. Oh, you could gain a strain to reroll. Is it? Is that what he's going to do? I think it's just a blank, though, or is it just any die? No, just two. And Larir gets two evades. No, it doesn't. That, it has to spend. Okay. That, that one is cocked, so I couldn't tell if it was two or not. Dashy boy. No, no, no shots, no shots for Dashy Boy. Yeah, no shot there when you're disarmed. So we take a range. Is that range two obstructed? No, range three obstructed here. From Gorin for hit crit. There is a there is a crate there on Gemmer. Gemmer! Hey, Gemmer, get those two of A's. That a boy, Gem. Gibby boy. Range three obstructed back. The rear rolling just a crit. Again, there is a crate here on Yendor. Needs an evade. Yendor. Gets one. <coughs> Always unfortunate dropping crates in those moments. You know, that for those first shots when there's just nothing really. No, no, no tokens, no mods.
All right, so three to two in favor of Tim. Buddy takes a lead here. Heading to round three. Let me take a look here at the uh, at, at the Outrider title. Well, you form an attack that is obstructed by an obstacle. The defender rolls one fewer defense die after you fully execute a maneuver. If you move through or overlap an obstacle, you may remove one of your red orange tokens. So that title, so the title stays the same. Isn't there a new Outrider title? Or no, that's just on the SL card that has a different ability. During the engagement phase, you ignore the effects of obstacles that you are overlapping. Got it. So he doesn't get the extra die at range three, correct? Is this is this a title that doesn't exist? Is this an illegal title? Hold on. Let's let's ask. Let's find out. All right, I'm doing some investigative journalism here. Um, is this the wrong title, uh, Outrider title, on Dash? No, that's the new one. It looks very similar to the old one. People are just saying in the chat that it's a wrong, quote unquote, wrong title. So I'm just asking. I genuinely don't know because I know they added like a new one. And no, like, this is. This is the brand new one. While you perform an attack at range, it's even got the new art. Wait, are you reading this something different than what, what I'm reading? While I, I'm reading, while you perform an attack that is obstructed by an obstacle, the defender rolls one fewer defense die. After you fully execute a maneuver, if you move through or overlap an obstacle, you may remove one of your red or orange right tokens. <sighs> you might have to update your cache because I'm looking at the right one. Oh, you both have yeah. a different one. I don't know how to update yeah. it. I thought it updated automatically. What That's is this so cash you speak of? <laughs> okay, well, as long as you have what you need, I don't know. That's so funny. Like, I, I don't know. I thought this all updated on its own. Yeah, me too. I was like, how would I have even... I just imported it from Yansby. How do I even pick the wrong title? Oh, does yours look, the, is yours look, the, is yours look the same as what I'm reading? No, mine looks correct. Oh, okay. Well, primary there you go. attack at range three, roll one additional attack die. Okay, cool. All right. I'm just, I, yeah, my, uh, my cache didn't update properly. Cool. All right. I have to, I have to update that on my own, then I'll figure Crisis out. Crisis someone, averted. Someone in chat, let me know how I update my cache without it, like, I'm, after this game, about without it, like, taking too long, please, because I don't have the patience to, like, do a freaking rigmarole to just update something like that. The new one lets you juke through an obstacle. Yeah. That sucks. <laughs> How long have I been reading things that aren't? Am I play? Am I cheating myself? Bringing old stuff? No one notices. Because they see the right stuff and I'm using the wrong stuff. Hit control Z. Stop. That's not funny. That is not funny. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> uh, well, now I know who my enemies are in the chat. Z control. Oh, sure. I don't I don't anything that has to do with control Z. I don't trust. Try to get me to undo things, huh? In the middle of the game. Jesus. Oh, man. All right. Hi, Maya. What's up? Hi.
All right. So, ooh, very sensitive of 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 Suntier. Very sensitive indeed. Quite a sensitive thing for Suntier to be doing there, if you ask me. I know no one's asking. Sapphire 2, just shooting there straight in the middle of the board. Keep that arc wide. Oh, Jemmer! Oh. Oh, Jemmer, no. Jemmer taking one from the Rocky Poo. I bet Andrew wasn't expecting that. Maybe it's all a part. It's a part of the master plan. Good. I'll take the damage on the rock. You'll never expect it. Or Lurier just turned too hard to so just crack shots him. Could also happen. Gambler Tube is like, no! Also, uh, any, if anybody is interested, we are going to start a 312 crew, uh, Battlefront 2, uh, PC um, showdown group, whatever. We will be streaming these Battlefront 2 games since they announced they were bringing it back with like DLC and stuff. Um, we'll be streaming that on top of X Wing. So, Gamer gets a focus for some reason. I don't, I don't know how, but he does. Because this, these cards are good. Um, how did he get that? How did he focus? What am I missing? What am I missing, everybody? Oh boy. Hey, you don't need to be good. It just it's it, it honestly it, if it's degenerate and bad, it's probably even better content to stream. I think it's $35 and you get I think it's I think it's the collection so you get the OG and the new the new well newer by newer I mean the second one that came out in like 2005. Dark Forces 2 is phenomenal. Phenomenal game. I was streaming that for a little bit. Oh, 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 we're choosing violence. Take a target lock into the rear. I think because uh, we well, because of this little a little tricky shot, a little tricky poo coming up. Everybody, we've got ourselves a nice little tricky poo into the rear. Being able to juke the hell out of them and all this stuff. The card I, the title I don't remember because I have the cash shot updated. Bad choice. Interesting from Woody Woo. Not interested, says Woody Woo. That's a Woody Woo belongs to the streets. And a three bank there from Wedge keeping the deplete token, though. That's a little annoying. Hmm. Very peculiar. Can you fit a boost rate? Ooh, I don't think so. Does not appear that you can. He's always taking a lock. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah, set up a, a double modded APT. What game? We're uh, we're talking about uh, Battlefront 2 because we want to do a whole like get a whole bunch of people together and like stream it. You know, that would be so much fun. Right? Who's in? Who's down? Who's freaking down to throw down? Little heroes versus villains on uh, on any map. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, that's true. Gor yeah, Gorin. Gorin, yeah. Oh, that sucks for Dash. I mean, he still gets like four dice and saw. He just doesn't get rerolls, does he? So this is an apex predator here doing apex predator things, shooting into Yendor and spending for three. Uh oh, Yendor. Yendor, no. No, Yendor, no. Not bad. Takes two. Shields down on battle over Yendor. What's the perk of pre-ordering it? Like, do I actually need to pre-order it or just buy it when it comes out? Like, what? what's the benefit of that? It's just, does he get it early? But... All right, range one here. Four dice into the Lieutenant. Lieutenant Lurier has a focus and an evade. Kind of sucks to be shooting at him. But you do have a lock. Not bad. Spend your lock. for Try to get four. Trying to get four. Oh, the dreaded blank. Lurier rolls enough to just spend the evade and is fine. That's like, honestly, he's super happy with that. He's like, yeah, I'll keep my focus. Oh, no. Oh, no. Dash, range two. You could go. Ooh, you could go range. Oh, guys, range three to suit your range. Yeah. Let's go, range three to suit tier. You roll five dice. Saw Guerrera. Oh, you're kidding me. So here does have that ability is the, the thing where, you know, he gets to, uh, oh, oh, that's not bad. Take the damage. That's two hits, two crits and a soon tier, guys. Soon tier only gets to change an eyeball to an evade. He has no other way to mod his dice. So uh, how lucky does soon tier get? Okay, that's pretty good. <laughs> oh, it gets juked down. It gets juked down. He takes two crits. He's taking two crits. He's taking two crits. Shuffle the deck. Oh, there he goes. There it goes soon, dear. Tim with the surprise snipe. Snipe soon, dear. Rage three. Let's go, Tim. Let's go. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, nice. Buddy, I'm proud of you. That was dope. Oh my god, that's hilarious. <laughs> Woody Woo. Yeah, I mean, the, maybe the target lock should have locked uh, soon tier, but I wouldn't have been able to. He moved first. Still amazing. Hit crit. Uh, this is from Gorn. I'm coming down from that. That was a wild moment right there. It's 8 to 2 all of a sudden. <laughs> oh, that's not good. So Yendor, gonna lose the crate, taking hit crit on top of it. And Lurir hasn't even shot yet, so uh, I think I think Yendor's done. I think he's done for here. That that will be four points, assuming it's a panic pilot. Extra panicked for Yendor. A little PP, as we call it in the industry here. All right, range three. Range three into Yendor. You could shoot range one into Dash. Dash does get one less defense die and has a crate. He's going range one into... No, he is going to go into Yendor. Wow. Okay. Yendor says, no, sir. You're going to have to crack it off of me. What's crack a lack and four dice here? Will the dice fail, Andrew? No, see you later. Sayonara, Sammy. That's enough to take out Yendor. Four more points. We got ourselves a game here, guys. It's eight to six right now. Absolutely incredible. So it was the it was the Outrider title, ironically the new Outrider title that juked down one of Sutir's two evades. He would have only taken one crit, but it juked it down, and he had to spend his charge to get to two evades. Takes crit, crit. The first crit is a direct, and it's nice knowing you soon tier. See you later, buddy. God, it feels 
that's got to feel good for Tim because that that suit here is like otherwise impossible to kill at any other stage of this game. And he just completely snipes him. <laughs> that was wild. All right. So it's a uh, 10 to 7. Uh, why is this Gemmer? Oh, Gemmer. Gemmer's not on the rock. He just hit it. Oh, that makes sense. OK. For a crit. And plenty of evades, you're good. Wow. So now, unfortunately for Dash, she's going to get ganged up on. <laughs> as is as is the this is the way. So 10, 10 to nine. So you only get a, a net gain of one point that turn after killing soon tier. It doesn't feel that great. Um, Dash, does Dash just, that's just like three banks, I guess. Thing is, you could just one hard with Sigma six to block that, I believe. Absolutely wild. So we've entered planning for turn four. Wedge and Gemmer trying to turn into this game. Can Wedge fit a three hard with hitting the rock? Yeah, he should be good. However, he's depleted. A man needs to clear that stress. Let's stir that deplete. I mean, it is stressful to be depleted in this moment as well, right? Naturally. No wedge, no way. Wedge should be taking the long way home here. I mean, certainly, he's certainly far from home. It's it's Spider Man, far from home for Wedge. Oh, I'm a little worried about Dash here, guys. This is not looking good. He's, he could get shot four times. Poor Dashy Poo. We could probably see. We well, here's you could see Lurier sensitive, sensitive boost, and then like two straight. He'd line up range one and potentially in crack shot if he's able to block dash. Yeah, the cavalry needs to arrive. Unfortunately, the cavalry is in the form of Gemmer and Wedge. <laughs> Gemmer's not going to deal any damage this game. It's just that he's just not a damage dealer. All right. The beacons are lit. Dash Rendar calls for aid. And Wedge Antilles will answer. Oh, we're using the see-through dice here. Nice. Very, very nice. Do they, I'm curious. Do they not see the green screen and, and realize that it, their dice are green? So it's like it's like the, the weather reporter wearing the, the green blazer on the green screen. Getting a little vectored, maybe? Getting a little vectored action here? Oh, we're going to keep rolling. We're not done rolling. We're tying it up. Jesus, what a waste of time. <laughs> There's three rolls. But we finally got there. Still 40 minutes left. Ooh, a little sensitive boost or barrel roll there from Sigma 6. Uh-oh. Uh oh, say probably a too hard from Sigma. Interesting there. Commandant Gorin with a little sensitive barrel roll there. Okay, so Sapphire 2 is not going to be shooting a dash at least. 
Oh yeah, I was saying Lurir gets sensitive. So Lurir's got a crate. I'm, I'm a freaking absolute dumbass for suggesting that. I, th I can't remember. I remember Hexiled, I think, would do a giveaway if three identical rolls happened. Nice. That's dope. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh. Oh, that it is. There it is, folks. Three banks still going to clear, though. Three bank clears and Dash is only getting shot at. Well, he's still getting shot at twice. Range one is pretty bad. But I don't know if he'd be getting shot at by Gorin. Best case is if Wedge is bump or if Dash is bumps. Honestly, that's like be maybe best case. Because then he'd get a, another one of those nasty shots. Oh, he 4K'd. What? What on earth? Oh no, he's getting shot at so much. <laughs> he 4K'd. He could have just went straight in. So start doing. I know. I, I knew that's where. That's obviously where we were getting at. So start doing giveaways when we do three identical rolls. Oh boy. Oh. Wedge is finally going to be able to get rid of that deplete token. I'm never doing a giveaway again. Why? Are you done with giveaways? You just focus. Why well, didn't Geber rotate? Because he is that like shot that he has a thing he can he has a, a precision tuned cannon. Range two bullseye. I don't think he has any bullseye abilities. Oh, he has predator. Yeah, yeah he does. So wedge. Oh, Lurir has an ability here, but gives an evade to Sapphire too. You're definitely not going to hit with this shot. Does the cannon retire the turret to face front? A cannon is a cannon, right? Like, spend the evade. We're fine. Yeah, front arc, two dice. The visitor pulls out, you add an eyebrow result. Wedge, range two. And it's a Gorin. He's already taken a shield self-inflicted from Saw Guerrera. He might be willing to do it again here if he gets a full string. He does not. Oh, I don't think you do that. I mean, may you hope maybe you get Gorin to spend the focus. Gorin has a shield upgrade as well. He's going to do it. He's going to damage himself. Two crits. Gorin, three dice. And rolls. Wow, he is going to have to spend. Spends the focus. Takes a shield, too. At this, all, all at the same time. He still takes damage as well. Not a bad result there for Tim. But he's taking three shots here. Let's hope, Wedge, or let's hope he survives. This is range one with a focus here. One die because of sensor blackout. Feels rough. Ooh, multiple blanks hit crit. Okay, okay. That range one shot was the scariest. And hey, he takes it. And the crate is also dropped. Range two here. No bullseye for Lurir. Three dice. Tim hoping for more blanks in that those rolls. There's another blank. Only two. Can you get some evades? Cannot. Takes two.
uh oh that was Goran's shot rather only one only one from Lurir. Goran's shot was the one that just hit and now he rolls a natty nat evades so so dash still has four hole thing again that sucks is that he's very blockable again uh but Lurir won't whoa i don't know do you have bullseye to add the eyeball result i think you do you do you can add the eyeball Here we go with the roll. Hey, there you go. Spend for three. Three hits into Lurir, who still has a focus. Maybe you get a damage through on Lurir. You do not. <laughs> Definitely not. Spending the focus there. No damage. Sapphire 2, though, is going to have a, a, a kind of a nasty whopper of a shot into Gemmer. Gemmer can only uh, use the ability to at eyeball results, but it has no focus. Gemmer hit the rock and took a damage earlier, so this is a very scary shot here. Only two. Only two. Oh, man. Oh, man. Gemmer, you could have used the focus. Is on one hole. But has the crate still. We hate Gremmer. Yeah, dead man's dead man's is but you're willing to take that damage because you're just it's seven points. So it's uh I think it might be tied. How does he have two crates? He doesn't. He has one. Wedge doesn't have a crate, just Gemmer. So it should be eleven to eleven. How did Yendor die? Got bullied. Range one shots and stuff. Uh, you, you guys are tied 11 11, by the way. There's only one crate for uh, Rebels. Oh, right. Okay. So, round five. About to commence here in a couple minutes. Yeah, there you go, Noah, getting shot, indeed. That was a very, very well put. Very well put, indeed. Dashy boy! Ho, oh, 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 Dash. I'm worried about you, buddy. Corrin just needs to three hard and focus, and that is rough. Again, if you're Dash, do you just, like, one straight... Because because Andrew's expecting him to try to go fast, but if Gorin one if if Gorin three hards and he in one straight, I don't know that might probably still clears unfortunately, and then you get shot at Gorin by Gorin range one. All right. Oler, first player here. Not sure how much it matters. I think Gemmer, Gemmer is a lower initiative. Let's move Wedge to the top, actually. I should have done that a while ago, but... There we go. Gemmer three hearts. Just focus. Oh man, Wedge. Wedge does a two or three bank. Get that get that get advanced proton torpedo in there. Unfortunately, Goran's gonna just remove the law. Oh, God, Goran is so good in that way. Sigma is they gonna just grab a crate, probably.
Yep. There's that hard turn. One straight will clear. Unfortunately, that is a nasty kill box. He four straights. Does he get out? Oh, that's still rough. Does he get out of a shot? He does not. He does not get out of anything. Wedge just has to focus. And then the evade goes over to Sapphire too. You'd almost be inclined to shoot a Goran. You have double mods there. You could try to get a token spent. I think he is going to do that. I think he's shooting a Goran right now. Yeah, there's four dice. Well, it would be five dice. Oh, but Sapphire 2 has that ability. That's why there's four dice. Hit, hit, crit, though. My goodness. Multiple blanks. Oh! These spent everything. are fine. <laughs> still a bad roll, but when you have focus of eight, it's still pretty good. Uh, good, good enough at least. But hey, at least you got some token spends. Hello, anybody from Austin, Texas? Not, not in the chat that I know of right now. Going into Sapphire two. Only two. And takes two. Sapphire two does not have the extra hole. Down to one. All right, range two here into Dash. Dash once again has nothing to mod his defense and more blanks, just two. Can Dash roll some evades? Dash does not. He takes two more. He's down to just two. And he's taking range one. Oh, man. Range one. This literally, I think this is game. If you kill Dash here. Only one. Dash, Dash only gets one die. Can he roll the squiggle? Can he squig it out? Can you do the squiggy squig? Nick, you are from Chicago. Any chance to meet you on Thursday on a Thursday during the day? Hey, there's the evade. Uh, well, I work nine to five, but we always play on Thursdays at Good Games in Lincoln Park. So um, I might, I can uh, more than happy to meet you if you wanted to get game in or hang out or whatever. But yeah, usually we don't do that until like six. But yeah, I work full time, so weekdays I'm gonna be working. Oh, hey, that's three. That could be a kill. That could be a big kill. See you later. Sayonara, Sammy. That is a big kill because Sapphire 2 officially initiative killed by Gemmer. When I said Gemmer can't do any damage, it doesn't kill anybody. I was wrong. That In this case, we see it happen. And that's four points. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, that's too bad. I'm sorry. I'll take you know, I'll tell you what, I'll I'm I'll take a look at my calendar. If I have some time, if you wanted to grab lunch or something, I could do that. You feel free to, re to DM me in Discord or something. I'll take a look. I, I have a busier week next week, but I might be able to make that happen. So what airport though? Where are you are you in the gonna be in the city though, or are you just gonna be at the airport? Like where are you gonna be? You can say all this at a DM. You don't have to expose this to the public. You will Discord me. Nice. Oh, no. A Discord missile coming my way. Wow. 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 Wee wow. Dash is still going to die next turn, probably. But honestly, I think it's time for Wedge to do his, uh, to do his four straight. And, uh, in, in APT Goran. I gotta be honest, guys. I don't. Goran, so, okay, so it's one thing that Wedge needs to be mindful of is that Goran might try to block him. 
the other thing Gordon could do is sensitive boost and then and then five four or five straight over dash if he do, I think Gordon needs to take a, to a too hard to the left or rather Gemmer needs to do that try to get a shot on Gorn if that happens he could otherwise try to too hard and boost to block wedge so wedge might not might not want to go faster than a three straight can dash three hard or three bank he needs to clear his stress man he really needs to here's the thing you're okay with losing dash if you take another ship down with you it's 16 to 12 right now so uh, Andrew kills your dash he gets to 19 <laughs> you gotta kill Gorin Gorin's four points isn't he he's four that gets you to 20 and then each side would get one point I imagine Sigma 6 is taking that crate so it'd be two points so it would be 21 to 21 <laughs> Yeah, Tim really wants to take something down with him if he's going to lose Dash. Like, he has to. Literally has to. Wedge still has, has his APT, is not fired as Advanced Proton Torpedo. He has used his, his Astromech, though. That lock is on Gorin right now. He is a full lane to go as fast as he needs to. Uh, I, I wouldn't be surprised if Gorin does the four straight, though, over the... the, the he does the sensitive... He could also sensitive barrel roll to the left and then too hard. That might be enough. I don't think you can get hit with an APT. Well, actually, again, you can still do the deplete boost to get four dice at range one for it with an APT. Gorin is into the hole. He's I mean, he's got three left. He lost his shield upgrade. So you just really would rather fire the five dice version instead of the four dice because Gorin could roll out of roll out of it. Oh man, I'm I'm anxious, man. This has been a really good game, Tim. I, I'm really proud of Tim. This is he's he's put Wedge in a in a spot that I, I just don't not Wedge. Sorry, Dash Dash in a spot where you know it, it, he could have easily lost them. He he hasn't rolled great, but he stayed alive. But that kill into Soon Tier was like a huge part of this game. If Soon Tier doesn't die, this game is over, no doubt about it. sensitive are we boosting are we barrel rolling we are there it is yep he's gotta be going straight now and we're not gonna grab that crate wow that's big we're not gonna go after that crate oh gamer turns the other way and focuses okay okay and here we go we're starting to get the bumps Bumping in a wedge or dash. I keep getting the two names confused. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, dash. Dash is not interested in. He's not even going to have a shot, so it's going to be it, we will get a dead man's though on the Goran. So can you kill Goran? <laughs> oh. Can he can he barrel roll? Can he barrel roll focus and get close enough? I don't think so. No way. You got to do it though. You got to barrel roll. 
barrel roll go all the way forward you won't get range one but you'll have a you'll have a you'll have an unobstructed double modded shot which could still with dead man still be enough to kill maybe The bank would have been really nice because you could have still barrel rolled towards the rock and gotten an APT if he tried to go in this lane with Corrin. Got to do the barrel roll. You got to do it. You got to do it. Got to do it. You 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 got to do it. You've got to. You've got to do it. Here we go. Oh, no, he's, bo he's boosting. Oh. Is that even fit? No, the boost wouldn't even fit. Okay. 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 There it is. Yeah, he's not going to have range one, but he did the barrel roll. Okay. Okay. There it is. Oh, goodness gracious. Jesus Christ on a motorbike takes the stress. He will have two shots in the Gemmer. Here we go. Range two from Wedge. Double modded three dice on three. Goran has a focus. Hocus focus. Shaking him up. Rolling him up. Two crits. Ooh, goodness gracious. Rerolling. No, it's a blank. No, not like this. No. Oh. Oh. That's probably game. Range one with a focus into dash. Four on one. Just needs three to kill. Oh, only two. Dash needs to roll an evade. It will not and will die and kill Gorin. Not, rather, not kill Gorin. Hit Gorin for a dead man's. I, I had not marked. Oh, I had marked Wedge's hold down to two. Silly goose. That is enough, though. Hit crit. Dead man switch triggers. Goran down to two, but still has a focus, and Gemmer is going to only have range three. Going to just shoot at Wedge. You needed you need a dash to take a shot there, you know. Dash not shooting is, is rough. Wedge blanks out naturally and we'll take three. Shields are down. Alright, gonna keep shooting at Wedge. For three. Wedge does have his focus. This is obstructed. Wedge spends and takes a hit damage card. And does it come down to Gemmer? Gemmer out the back. Range three into a focus Goran. So he's going to need natties. He's going to need two. And that's game. GG's. Yeah. And yeah, when you roll three evades, it wouldn't have mattered. GG's, folks. The final score is 17 to 20, 21 to 20. So, G, G's indeed. Great game.
talk talk to them really quick. And I should have mm -hmm. done that, um, just so I didn't I didn't risk the dash thought that way, and so I should have just done that. Dude, that and was that was wild. I was screaming. I was like, I can't believe he uh, just snipes suits here. That was amazing. I should have. I thought about doing the barrel <laughs> roll, like to guarantee be out of the arc, but I was like. I don't think he's gonna shoot Sunter, and if he does, like Sunter should be able to take it on the chin one shot. But no, nope, no, it was just the wrong mistake. Sunter just exploded. That was wild. Yeah, it Sunter was because fashion. yeah, Sunter got targeted because Yindor absolutely whiffed on his attack. If if he had put any damage in, I can't even remember who that range one was in. To the rear. Yeah. The rear. If he had even done one hit into the rear i probably would have followed up on the rear but then i was like well dash has not got a lock on either one of them and neither one yeah. of them damaged and you got range uh, three so you got range three and soon mm -hmm. here so no that was that was uh that was seriously that kept you that that gave you the chance to actually win this game honestly because soon yeah. is just if, 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 the, if there's only one moment in time where you have a chance to kill soon and it was that shot so like otherwise it's just yeah, so hard otherwise soon is going to be right up in dash's grill yeah, mm -hmm. and that's not where he wants. It's no yeah. Mm -hmm. so. yeah, right. For sure, that was a great game, guys. Thanks so much for playing. Absolutely, yeah, appreciate it. I didn't get to do my Sigma five straight five straight afterburners on the first turn, but uh -huh. yeah, how could you? What do you, like, what are you doing? What are you doing, man? Also, I, I was surprised it, I you did. um I'm surprised that you didn't one hard grab a crate as insurance because if um if Corin dies, that I think t I think. <laughs> Tim wins by one point. Here, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, I was a little worried. I think I, I think it fits. Yeah. Okay. All day. Don't know what I was worried about. Should have just won. Actually, realistically, the turn before I should have grabbed the crate. Like when I five straighted to there. Mm, yeah. So I'm just thinking, like, so I if if it, if you if dash. But I was so scared you... of dash bumping and then just sniping me yeah, through the yeah. rock another <laughs> one another one yeah right <laughs> so if goran so if dash dies and goran dies it's 20 it's tie, right? 21 21 to tw yeah, yeah, i think you would have needed you would have needed the second the other point to win right it would have been 21 to 20 right yeah yeah you're right yeah if goran That's dies here i would have had 21 to the 20 yeah so that's why i was like oh he's gonna one heart grab the crate but didn't didn't matter. I was just thinking. Like, yeah, I should have. It's fine. Just yeah. just kill Dash and have Goran survive. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm wondering too, Tim. If you had um, if you had banked Wedge, um, can you uh, can you does it or does it let you undo his maneuver like undo the yeah. barrel roll and everything? Yeah. So if you go back to where he was originally and he was unstressed, uh, do do a three bank. <laughs> obviously this is all hindsight 2020 i'm just thinking like what would have given you the most flexible choice if he goran turned yeah, in to try to block you or went up the way he went so if you did a three bank then you could you i think you could have the for the four dice yeah. yeah but if goran was like can i ping when i'm spectator no um hold on if goran ended up like here I'm wondering if you could have still maybe been able to barrel roll back and get a shot. I'm not sure. Um, it would have depended on the angle, but that way, that just gives you the flexibility to be able to um, to, to come in on him um, yeah. and get a four dice. No, I didn't predict any of his moves right, actually. Like, I thought, like, way back, yeah, I just read everything wrong. It's, I think those sensitive controls gives them more flexibility than I realized, but, like, I thought... The reason I did that 4K with Dash, which I think kind of hampered me instead of t coming up behind this rock, is I was for sure thought he was going to just do a one hard and set um, Sigma 6 right here. But instead, he did the the barrel roll barrel back, back and roll. then the five straight. So actually, that area was clear. That would have been clear for Dash to land in. And The, the turn when he 4K with Dash, the turn when yeah. he 4K with Dash, you could have one straighted and you would have taken one shot instead of three that's what i was super yeah three that's what i was super worried about actually was the one straight yeah, but. yeah that was a t there was just so many options there. i'm like well if i do this is he gonna get the block i guess i should have just not yeah. cared if i got blocked well you, you want the there, you rolled so many eyeball results on defense at least one of those times it would add a focus 
yeah yeah but yeah no no no. that's it's it's definitely um height science 2020 just talking over what i was thinking both you guys might do that turn it's interesting so cool have a good rest of your sunday guys thanks again thanks yeah, you too. peace Bye. see you soon bye all right, everybody, that does conclude this telecast of 312 Crew X-Wing Casual Play. I uh, hope you all enjoyed the, the games today. We will be doing Draft League games starting tomorrow night.